everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got this Volvo V60 Cross Country V5 spec in Silver Dawn and I think we have to agree in this colour combination in the metallic Silver Dawn with the black contrast bumpers and the dark 19 inch alloy wheels it really does look very impressive. Typical Scandinavian design of course and I particularly love the, the way that the lines of the car sort of follow it all the way around so they don't just end on the side here they continue coming around to the back and of course we've got the trademark Volvo rear shoulder lights that in the auto position they're on um, during daytime as well so it still gives it a really nice signature and of course it's just safer as well so join us in the video when we take a look around this Volvo V60 tell you what it's like to talk about some amazing features it has potentially some things that are not so good but join us in the video it's a very interesting car so as I mentioned in the introduction we had the cross-country variant in particular the cross-country ultimate spec so now in 2023 there's just two trim levels for cross-country the cross-country plus and the cross-country ultimate there isn't so many options to tick as such as what they used to be um, with Volvos so you sort of pick your trim level and then you get excellent equipment in whichever one you pick so with this ultimate spec it brings you stuff like the panoramic roof palm and cardan sound system and the awesome 360 degree camera however the standard plus specification cross country still comes with plenty of equipment including necessities of course like bluetooth apple carplay led lights etc very well equipped car and that does simplify the buying experience too being a v60 just like the standard one there is plenty of room this um, very sculptured seat with the you know very good design you know the whiplash protection headrests allows you plenty of space because it's nice and thin and this is set for a six foot driver up front um, so there's plenty of room plenty of space to put your feet there is a transmission tunnel in the middle here however like I say because the, the foot walls are nice and wide you can um, put your feet either side lovely touches as well just the hook and the quality feeling air vents adjustable which are on both sides and then in the middle here we've got armrests with pop-out cup holders which is very nice and then the screen is currently not on at the moment but uh, there's a four zone climate control so you can change your temperature pop a heated seat on and then we have two USB-C ports as well so here we are at the back of the V60 talked a little about a little bit about the design at the start and just once again it really is a very stylish looking car I love how simple it is it just really works on previous model year v60 and v60 cross-country models you used to get uh, exhaust both sides depending on the engine model uh, because there's no doubt this b5 we've got here with a two litre tur turbo uh, petrol is very powerful and pretty fast but there's no ex external exhaust on show there are some of course underneath but it, it you know it really shows that Volvo is trying to move towards that you know zero carbon future and I think it actually works really nice it just makes the car very symmetrical and simple and symmetrical so opening up the electric tailgate we are not disappointed thank goodness uh, huge load space um, and one of my favorite features I've always loved in Volvos that you get on some of them is the luggage divider and strap with hooks so you know if you go shopping for just a couple of bags um, it's not gonna just you know roll around the whole boot of course you've got first aid kit there of course this particular vehicle has got the optional spare wheel so it's not a standard feature however it's not that expensive um, to choose um, and it's a nice feature to have and we've got three LED lights in the boot one there one there one here and a, and a 12 volt socket as well so you know it's always nicely illuminated even the gloomiest of gloomiest winters so up front of the v60 cross country is very similar to the normal v60 really which is no bad thing at all you know you've got the lovely swooping design very elegant very classy exemplary use of materials throughout the car even in the back on the door bins at the bottom it's still lovely and soft which cannot be said for most um, rivals just the fear of a steering wheel in the hand in the hand yes this car is very very new but um, it is you know it, you can tell it's going to take the test of time very well up front we've now got the new Google infotainment system which 
um, has in been introduced across many of the Volvo range. Um, and it's also uses Google digital dials up here as well, in front of the driver. Um, and there's many features such as, hey Google, just like that, um, which helps you do all sorts, sorts of demands that you may wish. Uh, you've got, you know, Play Store and the a world's first that Volvo had brought to the V60 cross country and I'm sure we put out across all of their cars in the future is the air quality uh, monitor. So you can, using the clean zone system, you can monitor things like pollen and then actual, you know, the different particulates and stuff. Um, and then it also shows you in car quality. It's not currently working because of the engine's not on. But um, you can sort of monitor how well the interior of the car is for your health as well. And the system can actually block 95% of the harmful particulates entering the cabin. So if you weren't impressed with the rest of the V60, isn't that just a reason to buy it itself? And then on this particular ultimate version, uh, comes with fitted with a dual panoramic sunroof with a blind, which is conveniently opened without a, not a button, but just a swipe of your finger on the center panel here, literally just like that. And it opens, it's really nice. And you know, you can, Volvo has a real uh, working towards, you know, using environmentally friendly materials, etc., etc., um, And you can really feel that. It, this car feels like it really tries to connect you with nature. Another few amazing features up front of the Volvo V60 cross country. Firstly, is a practical touch with the parking clip um, just there. That has been a feature of Volvo for many years now. And it, you know, it looks like a thing you wouldn't use, but trust me, you really will. Um, the ultimate specification comes fitted with the Harman Kardon sound system. And yes, although it's not quite up to the um, Bowen and Wilkins system that you can get in some Volvos, it still produces excellent high quality sound that can really immerse you in the music. You know, as I said about the quality, it really is nice. You know, particularly these uh, crystal feeling start stop button and volume switch, which is the whole detailing. It really is immaculate indeed. Um, you can access your driving modes. You know, there, there was a day where you could access your driving modes for a little dial just down here, but that has actually gone now. Um, so it does have to be accessed through settings and driving and your off-road mode is just there. Um, and here's the digital dials, very clear. And then up here, you've got the lovely frameless rear view mirror, which really does add a classy touch to the interior. And of course, the interior looks nice, just as nice as the outside. So in combination, it looks absolutely lovely. But no, in all serious, the V60 outside and inside looks great wherever it is. Whether that could be off-road as well, because we're in the cross country. Here we have the owner's book for the Volvo V60 cross country. You know, you don't get the full um, size of owner's manuals like you used to get in old cars, but even to have a small little booklet is really nice. And we've even got a physical service booklet here, which still allows the dealership to stamp the pages if I can find it here we are it still allows the dealerships to start the pages so there's no faffing around with that online service history so you just give this to the new owner if you are stupid enough to get rid of this car <laughs> um, and then there's some sort of really important features out the owner's manual there yeah it's a nice little um, foldable pouch with Volvo embossed on it looks very premium so when it comes to choosing your engine for the Volvo V60 cross country it's a very easy because there's just one, which is the B5. Back a few years ago, Volvo used to designate T and D to its engine lineups. The T for petrol and D for diesel. Uh, now B could be either, but this is a petrol, I can assure you, a two litre petrol producing 250 brake horsepower. So it allows a pretty impressive performance. You know, it'll get to 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds, which for such a, you know, practical family car, is really very impressive and even around the corners as well you know we've got a sufficient amount of ground clearance here for you know small off-road obstacles uh, perfect for the snow put some you know winter tires on here and I think it'd be a proper Swede mobile <laughs> um, but bad joke that was really bad <laughs> um, but yeah in all seriousness it also comes with hill descent control and the off-road mode helps you go crawl for a, a little time at slower speeds as well. So it is pretty good for off-roading. It's also got a reasonable towing um, 
weight as well and you can specify to have uh, a deployable tow bar on the options list but yeah the automatic gearbox slushes the gears together um, and it does a reasonably good job at making the car as efficient as possible of course it is a two litre petrol with 250 brake horsepower so it's not going to be the ultimate um, you know eco mpg car however Volvo do claim on the LTP cycle um, that it will do around sort of 36 to 38 miles per gallon and judge based on our driving I wouldn't say that was far far wrong at all that probably is about right so it's pretty pretty good and now in the age where petrol is slightly cheaper than diesel to buy you know it's a very good option and I do not think it's going to be too unaffordable to run moreover what's importantly is the fuel tank is over 70 litres which the cross country has a bigger fuel tank than most of the other V60 so you can go extra far per tank of fuel uh, when we filled this car up it was showing about 560 miles between fill ups which is pretty impressive I guess you can go cross country with it as I think everyone knows Volvo stands for safety and ever since they in introduced a seatbelt all the way back in 1959 and made it patent free for every uh, car manufacturer the, the word Volvo and safety have just always gone together and Volvo have continued to pioneer with many aspects throughout the years and this V60 cross country is no exception coming with um, a, well a world first feature at the time actually which is runoff road protection so the car will sense if it thinks you're going to go off the road and have an accident and it will sort of prepare the seats in a way that will minimize the forces on your back also of course we've got things like blind spot monitoring help you spot cars in your blind spot um, oncoming traffic mitigation so if you are accidentally start to swerve out your lane and there's obviously of course oncoming cars it will actually steer you back uh, to avoid an impact and of course um, city safety which has come a long way since it was first introduced in 2008 with the first generation XC60 um, it now stops for cars humans uh, you know cyclists and even large animals as well so the safety is its top priority and it fills it as well you know not not just have we got the safety features as uh, so te technological safety features but we've also got the rigorous build quality and the high quality sound you know the high quality sounds associated with that build quality and the technology technological safety it has so the Volvo V60 cross country is a good all-round car I mean it's much better than good it's quite simply fantastic there's so many good features to this car just like the seats now it's just so calming um, good for your health with the um, air quality management system it really is an excellent car and there's very very little at all you can fault about it and I think the car will serve you well for many many years to come just not not just at the initial pu initial purchase but for many many years and it's a great companion so yeah there's nothing really to hold you back really well, that's it for this V60 Cross Country review. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And if you could also subscribe to the channel, it really, really does go a long way to helping the channel progress. So I would really appreciate that. And I'll catch you in the next one.